I'm a little nervous about this, but today we're going to be looking at some of my own gameplay from over the weekend. Now, I recently started playing Ranked again after barely playing the last few seasons, and it's been a bit of a struggle to say the least. Uh, like my aim, my mechanics, my timing all feel really off. Uh, that's been getting better as I've been playing more, but even so, it's still contributing to me getting a little bit flustered and overwhelmed uh, in my games. I think the fact that most of my uh, games have been on stream is adding a little bit of pressure too. And then there's also a lot of toxicity I'm encountering. Like I'm personally getting flamed and singled out in a lot of my games. And because I'm already, you know, getting a little flustered, that's just adding to it. Although looking back at the replay codes and the stream replays, I can confid confidently say that pretty much none of the criticisms and flaming I got was justified. Almost all the time, it was just a bad player coping or not being aware of what's going on around them. That being said, there are a lot of legitimate mistakes that I'm making um, that I'm often not realizing in the moment. So that's why I feel like before I queue again, before I do anyone else's VOD reviews, I need to just look at my own gameplay. Uh, this is a game where, you know, I feel like it was close enough that it was winnable if I had played better. And I noticed one habit of mine that I think is holding me back. And then there's one huge mistake that I made at the very end, but we'll get into that. So I'm skipping to the second fight because, you know, the first fight we ran like a Ryan Bap Lucio comp and we just got rolled by their MAGA. So, you know, we can, you can see we made our switches here. There's no point going on with that. So, I mean, looking over that. So we'll, we'll just start here. Yeah, so my uh, my Reaper dies to a to a Sojourn headshot there. It's really tough to like get sight lines um, at this choke on uh, Busan Mecha Base. I feel like I could have gone for a little bit more damage early in the fight, but at the same time, you know, I'm playing with a Maga. You do kind of got to babysit him a little bit, missing the shots on my Genji, but it happens. I, I nade right in my Reaper and yeah, unlucky. Yeah, at this point, the fight's lost. I actually wouldn't say that the nade was unlucky. I just need to be a little bit, a uh, little bit more aware of that. So yeah, once again, this choke is very tough for us to, to break, especially because of the incline, unless we really, really push in. I feel like we're really just going to need to, you know, basically we need to build our alts and, and just go in with them to, to try to win this. And that's what I believe we eventually do. So that nade was horrible. Like it missed, but even if it landed... This is way too early in the fight for me to be throwing the nade. Like, the Mog is full HP. I can't really even see any of the squishies to get them. At the very least, we need to just be shooting the Mog and getting him down a little bit. And then, you know, I need to be throwing the nade at a critical moment. But I do have my Nano here, so... So I see my, my team's already investing some alts, you know, my Kiriko and my Maga ulted. So I'm holding on to Nano. I'm just waiting to see how this fight goes before I invest it. But obviously at this point, there's there's no need. We can uh, just hold on to my Nano and we, we got Blade too, so we could just Nano Blade next fight. I feel like that was a really good nade. I just shut those guys off. I see my Kiriko focusing that area. So I'm just looking down at main, making sure you know, my Reaper doesn't die. And now we win this fight. Now, this is a really, really bad rotation I make. And I realize it immediately and, and drop down. But I should not be falling back here um, to play with my team comp. Because, you know, we got a Maga. We got like a Reaper. We've got a very like more close range brawly comp. If I play back here, it's very easy to isolate me. Like if, if everybody... Like, if the enemy team decides to push this, this choke next fight, I, I'm just dead. 
Uh, so yeah, just know your comp, know how close or far you got to play. You know, if you got a brawl comp, you generally want to play a little bit closer to them as Ana just in case. But like I said, I do realize that quickly and I, and I drop down to meet my team. So I feel like maybe I could try just being a little bit more aggressive going for some damage. But at the same time, like I have my uh, nano, there's no need to really poke. Um, just in general, I'd like to be putting more. Pr I feel like I do need to put a little bit more pressure on the enemy team uh, just to stifle their pushes. But this is also once again that the sight lines on Mecha base are a little iffy. I think that was a little early on the nade, but it's it's fine. We go in with the um we go in with the nano blade. So here I generally like I, I think I I might have missed a shot on a Reaper. He died, did kind of die fast though, so I don't know if I, I would have healed him there regardless. But definitely I need to not be scoping here. I need to be hip firing and walking forward with my team. Um because as we can see, my MAGA dies, my Genji's crit. I definitely, if I had scoped less and just walked and hip fired, uh, there's a better chance I could have kept my MAGA alive. So that kind of puts us in a little bit of a tough spot here, as you'll see. That nade wasn't necessary. And now, now MAGA's charging in. But fortunately, like I missed the sleep, but fortunately he just, he goes way too deep in ints and, and we capitalize on that. So here I'm backing up a little bit too much. I'm stopping scoping in on Genji to heal him. Meanwhile, my team is all pushing up there. So this is uh, what I think I've noticed you're going to see is just a common theme with my gameplay is I do back up um, and and rotate away when I need to. But I go a little bit too far in the process. And what I think it's doing is it's just leading to me being inactive in the fight at crucial moments. So my Kiriko dies. I mean, granted, my team could have been just a little more conservative pushing back into, until MAGA came. But yeah, at the same time, if I hadn't backed up so much, if I had, you know, recognized, I feel like, you know, the soldier wasn't going after me. I, I feel like I might have been in a position to save her there. And this right here, I'm nading the Moira. That's just uh, that's just not a smart play. I if anything, I should just nade the soldier. so we get a quick kill there. Um. Moira, I don't necessarily know if she has fade right now. And so, you know, if she uses that, then that that nade is useless. Yeah, we do kill the we do kill the sojourn. Yeah, I think my Genji screamed the F slur at me in chat for not healing him there, but that was a little bit tough. Once again, I backed up a little bit too much. I, you know, I slept the Moira, so she was the only one threatening me and then I was safe. So that little split second, you know, that I was, uh, you know, rotating extra, I might have been able to, you know, heal Reaper, at least land a shot to keep him alive, heal up Maga a little bit more. So that's just the big thing that stands out to me in my gameplay is that when I'm backing up, I'm doing it too much and being inactive in the fight, like I already said. So, yeah. And then from here we just kind of we just kind of lose the fight. Yeah. So our tank's dead. I get the kill on the sojourn, but my whole team dies around me, so And yeah, we, we do end up losing this fight. So it seems like a small little mistake. But as you can see, like those those bad rotations, you know, not pushing forward when my, my Genji got the 4K with that blade, backing up a little bit too much. Those little uh, mistakes I made in movement, I do feel like heavily contributed to why we ended up losing this round. So I'm just going to skip over round two because we won that. Who cares? Uh, so we will go to I think it was like right around here. Yep. Here we go. So we'll just go to right to round three. Capture the objectives of the end. We must give it our all. 
I'm going mean. I'm going to sleep on the Ana. I pressure her. I think that's solid. I'm backing up a little bit because I took some damage. Yeah, my, my Widow dies. Unlucky. Yeah, I'm going for the Ana. So now I'm playing really conservatively because I am nated in low HP, but we're good. So my Widow got a big pick on the uh, on the Moira, and I think my early pressure on the Ana to stifle her uh, just, uh, I, I feel like that was very, very helpful. So I'm going to move over here. So I see the enemy team coming. I tell my Widow to peek me, but she, she doesn't make it in time. Unfortunate. Now here, I need to be backing up. Like, I'm scoping, I'm stopping, I'm scoping. I need to be backing up, especially when I realize they are um, the enemy team is coming down this area. And, like, the Zen has very good sight lines of me. You know, I need to just back, play, like, right over here instead, you know, where I can use, like, this cover right here to LOS him. But I can still get, like, almost the same vision I had before. So then I get discorded, you know. Now I'm in a lot of danger, and fortunately my Kiriko bails me out, but now now I'm in a good position, but see what I do right here? I, I rotate too much once again, and I drop down to the low ground. I needed to realize that playing right over here, I was safe in that moment. You know, I could have kept healing. Um, I could have kept helping my Maga. Maybe we could have, uh, maybe I could have contributed to, to helping us kill the enemy Maga, but, but yeah. Once again, I'm rotating too much, and it's leading to, to inactivity. And as you can see, my Maga finally drops. He is crit. I could have been healing and supporting him that whole time if I had stayed on that high ground. Now he's dead. And yeah, we, we lose this fight. Might not seem like such a huge mistake, like just just looking at it. But as you can see, those rotations are, are costing me heavily. So now my MAGA tells us that we should take uh, the, this right side, which I think this is a very good idea. And as you'll see, it works out well for us. So he just traps the enemy MAGA in here. I shoot, I nade, I just help him farm him up. Nice and easy. He's dead. So then the Moira flanks on me. I kill her. So the unfortunate thing here is that both my, uh, while my Maga and me and Kiriko are doing this, uh, both my, my DPS, my Genji and my Widow end up dying. So my Widow is, you know, way up here. I kind of understand, um, you know, I kind of understand why she's struggling. You know, she's trying to play up here to get like a, a different sight line as as we push lower. Um, yeah, she's getting killed by Sombra, but I don't feel like there's much I can do. My Genji, though, he's like way out here. He's not on the same page as us. Honestly, I feel like he should have just been pushing up with us, help us quickly kill the Maga. Then he could have he could have gone after other people. But yeah, I don't know. Also, another thing is Kiriko could be like like working with the DPS a little bit more, but. I don't know. Those are those are just my thoughts right there. I'm backing up and then the Zen just drops on me. I was not expecting this at all. Yeah, he, he really caught me off guard there. So I die. Sombra comes in after killing Widow. She pounces on Kiriko. She dies. So that puts us in a rough spot here. Yeah, I'm backing up because they're they're using ults. At this point, we just want to LOS them. So, I have my nano. Genji has Blade, but we know that uh, Zen has Trans, so we're kind of waiting for that right here. Now, I took a lot of damage, so that's why I'm, I'm LOSing here. 
I don't like how inactive I was here. You know, I'm looking for the soldier and my Genji's crit. I should have honestly, like, especially now that, uh, now that Zen's pop trans, I need to just nano somebody here, and I don't. This is the big mistake that I'm talking about. I figured, you know, we could wait out the trans, I can heal my team, but this is just, you know, slow, slow reactions, slow analysis, and it really, really ends up hurting me here. And that by this time, the fight's lost. I also sleep the charging Mago, which wasn't smart, but... Yeah, I played really slow. I was not aware of what was going on, and I did not nano. That's just, you know, that's really embarrassing that not only I just made a mistake that I've advised against on the channel, but I've literally used that as titles in videos in the past. I, I would say that this is a pretty uncharacteristic mistake for me, but the fact that it happened at all is just unacceptable. And at this point, the fight's, uh, the game's pretty much lost because it's uh, 84. Me and Genji are finally going to come into to Blade and yeah, Sombra, Sombra shuts that down with, uh, with the MP and it's pretty much, uh, it's pretty much GG from there. So yeah, I got to do better than that. I got to just make sure I, I'm getting my nano nano early and often, as I've said before, um, when I see my team struggling like that, I, I just need to pop nano nano something just so we can try to turn around the fight. And then the other thing, as I pointed out, is just my rotations. I'm, I'm being a little bit too scared or panicky. I, I'm moving a little bit too much far back. And it's once again, it's causing me to be inactive in the fight at critical moments where I'm needed. Uh, so those are some things I'm going to work on. I think that uh, just to, to minimize distractions and to, to help me get my, my mental better, I'm going to play off stream a little bit more. I'm going to take a little bit of a break from streaming my gameplay. And then I am also going to play with text and voice turned off like I've advised on the channel in the past. Um, yeah, so so that's all I have for now. Hopefully, hopefully it was helpful and you learned something.